it's so great to have you here because this still feels so sad. Uh, Dawn, it's fascinating listening to Brendan, isn't it? Even a Republican who says, no, we, we should, this, this, the, the death of the Queen should be this significant. There should be this much coverage. This is major, even for someone who doesn't support the monarchy as an institution. I think Brendan pretty much hit it on the head there. Um, and I just want to say to everyone that is feeling sad and lonely tonight, please do reach out because there is always someone there to talk to. And a lot of people are feeling sad. Um, I, yeah, I think Brendan pretty much said what a lot of people are thinking. I'm no great fan of the institution, but I think the Queen was a, just a woman who just... We we'll never see her like again. I know that's a cliche now, but not just her as a person, but that generation in particular. I mean, she had duty, she had dedication. Um, she, she never complained and never complained. Again, another cliche, but her entire life, from the minute she was born, was mapped out for her. Can you imagine living with that pressure? OK, she didn't have to worry about the you know, paying the bills or, you know, or, or work or any, or any of the normal things that we worry about. But everything, Dan, she didn't subscribe to the cult of victimhood that we have now, where everything is about me, what can you do to help me? With her, it was always, what can I do to help you? She was our queen, but she considered herself our servant. And I think um, Brendan is so right. It's, it's about her as a woman <coughs> and the example she set as a woman, not just as a queen. So beautifully put.